Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. You know, I had a lot of fun playing with the M5 stack core in UI flow in this video here. And so I wanted to revisit this UI flow and I'm going to be playing with my M5 stick C. I did a review of this previously and I haven't done much with it. But this seems like it's going to be fun after seeing how simple UI flow was to work with. And the concept of the M5 stick C is it has hats. So we're going to play with the speaker hat. We're going to play with the environment sensor hat. And we're going to play with the PIR hat. And of course, you're going to want to start at the download section here. And we're going to have the UI flow desktop IDE and the M5 burner. And for starters, we're going to go ahead and burn this micro python environment onto the m5 stick c okay you see here this is what you get in the kit this is the one without the wristwatch accessories it's just the m5 stick c and you get a usb c cable there so i'm going to plug that in and we're going to upload that micro python environment using the m5 burner so we click select stick c here get the right version okay so we're going to download that yeah you see here in the m5 burner there's other like the little cool dinosaur jumping game a simple clock the cellular automata uh, demonstration some other graphics demo there got a little slot machine a space invaders game that's interesting you know it looks like a flick of the wrist fires the gun there oscilloscope and eat the dot game i don't know what this is super meso fire clock and then an audio spectrum display so there's other interesting programs that you can download using the m5 burner but we want to install our micropython based loader for the m5 stick c so that we can work with it in ui flow Okay, so now we can burn that firmware onto our device. I've selected the serial port using the default baud rate. I've got the stick C selected and we're going to burn that. Okay, so we're done burning now. You can see it's finished. I'm just going to close this. I want to show you how this menu works. It's pretty interesting. Let's see. The stick C has its own battery. This is a really tremendous package. It's pretty cool. So I'm just going to hit the power button. Let's get a reset here now. And then right away when you see that little Python icon, hit the big button. Now this lets you use the selector here to choose different things. I'm going to go into setup now. The selector button here takes us up and down through the menu. I want to switch mode. I want to make sure we're in USB mode because we're working with the desktop IDE. You could go to internet mode and use the web-based IDE like I demonstrated in the previous video with the core where you would connect to your device just based on the API key. All right, so we're in U USB mode. We've selected that. Now I'm just going to reset again. Now we're ready to do the three demos of the hats that we have here. Here's the speaker hat, the environment hat, and the PIR hat and I have some simple programs made up for these so I'm going to close out of M5 burner and we're going to open UI flow now let's talk about this a little bit so on this end you've got the uh, USB-C connector there and you also have the Grove adapter so you could theoretically hook up some of these other modules that use the Grove adapter like we had the GPS module with the core that we demonstrated previously. The M5 Stick C has this little row of pins here and that's where the hats fit. You can only fit one hat. They don't pass through those connectors. You can have multiple Grove items attached, but that's just, there's only one hat connector on these things. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to here. Get a little slack there. There we go. So let's get our first example in here. 
Okay, we're going to select our M5 stick C on COM8 and hit OK. And we can see we are connected. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my speaker example here. Yeah, I already wrote it, but you'll see it's remarkably simple and we can talk through it a little bit. So I've added two labels here and those labels are going to be set with the color white and it's going to be hello world and then we're going to detect the big button on the front if button a is pressed it's actually going to play the little ditty from uh close encounters uh for you sci-fi buffs so let's go ahead and we're going to send this this will run it Hang on just a minute. I think it's upset because I plugged the hat in while it was powered. So let's see. Yeah, I should have powered off the device before plugging in the hat. So let's see. Oh, yeah. See, we got to make sure there's no hat added here. Oh, there it is. No, wrong hat. Whoops. Must have had the wrong hat. We need the speaker hat. Okay. You can use. Okay, so cancel. We got to get rid of the PIR hat. Somehow it remembered the PIR hat from last night when I was uh, writing these programs. I'm going to add the speaker hat. See, it, it knows you can only have one hat. Yeah, that's interesting. Let's try running now. Let me refresh my connection here. Connected. Okay. There we go. Okay, now it's finally doing what I wanted it to do. So you can see here it says, Hello World. Just like the bottom part of this code here. There we go. And when I saw that the speaker hat lets you play tones and you can actually set musical notes. So you can go low, middle, or high notes. I figured I'd Google <laughs> the, the little ditty from Close Encounters and let's see what happens here. I'm going to push the big button. And then it goes back to displaying Hello World. I'll do that one more time. That volume is set to 10. It doesn't have an 11, in case you were wondering. So, one more time. Okay, so that's the speaker hat demo. So the speaker hat lets you play musical notes, set the volume, or play a beep of a specific frequency for a specific duration. You see musical notes, it lets you actually select beats. So you could write quite a little <laughs> ditty there if you wanted. <laughs> That's it for that demo. I'm going to go ahead and power this unit off and get the next hat ready. So again, you hold the power button for six seconds and it goes off. I'm going to swap that hat out. Our next demo is with the environment hat. And again, my unit is off. And remember, when we're in UI flow, we'll want to make sure we have the correct hat selected. I thought the program would remember it. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to pull that one out. I'm going to load my next program. Environment hat. So again, I really appreciate how simple it is to create a rather complex graphic interface, even on a simple device like this with such small display. And I've got these labels applied here. This is a literal label where I've said, use the text pressure, and I've given a location of X is 10 and Y is 10. And then I've left these open text labels here that will fill in by running the program. And then within the program, I've selected label one to show the pressure, label three to show the temperature, and label five to show the humidity. And I've adjusted these for Fahrenheit and uh, the traditional barometric pressure. This one shows in hectopascals or whatever. So you take one hectopascal times 0 0.0295 to get your traditional barometric pressure reading. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so we can see the barometric pressure is 27.29. I have a temperature of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity is at 
and I have this updating every 15 minutes. Now again, this is an ESP32 device, so it's got Wi-Fi, it's got Bluetooth. So I was thinking I could actually run a web page on this device and maybe integrate it with my Mozilla Internet of Things. So that is the environment hat demonstration I had planned for today. I'm going to go ahead and shut this device down. There we go, it's off. We'll swap out the hat. Last but not least is the PIR hat. Simple plug and play. And again, these are remarkably simple programs. I, I'm really impressed with UI flow. But here, I've added a text label, and let's look. See, I've rotated it 90 degrees. I've put it at 70 by 10, and the font is Ubuntu C. And this simple loop is just get the status of the PIR hat, and if it's detected motion, then say motion detected and if it hasn't detected any motion then it'll just say still so I hope we can demonstrate that here that'll be interesting so, oh motion detected still yeah let me see if I can get this up here it's really detecting motion anyway it's still motion detected gotta hold still Motion. It's <laughs> it's pretty sensitive. This is working pretty good at my desk. Yeah, see, it's detecting motion. I'm waving outside the camera here. It, it seems to have a pretty good range to it. Gonna try to hold still. Okay. Motion detected. Okay, so that's another simple demo. And again, here you have this wonderful ability to create. Uh, graphics user interface just by drag and drop in this UI design section and the code is remarkably simple and I hope you've enjoyed checking out these examples for the M5 Stick C using UI Flow and these various hats the speaker hat the environment hat and the PIR hat all right thank you very much so make sure to check all the links in the description down below please subscribe Check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shitoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.